Should the rule, don't ask, don't tell for the military be repealed? I don't think so right now. And, and I say that because um, there are other things to be worried about right now with the military. I, I, I think that kind of on the back burner it is sufficient for now to, to put so much time and effort and politics into it, unnecessary. So why what appears to be a change of heart and a change of policy? Roland Martin, Cornell Belcher, Rich Galen are still with us. That was a non that was, we used to call that a non-denial denial. What did she just say? I'm trying to figure out what that, what that just was. What she said was she what she said was an argument many conservatives made, and some have said it's cover or what or it's cynical, but what she said was not now. We're in the middle of two wars. Let's let's talk about this later. But Okay, that's clear. But now she has said that's not what she said. <laughs> I think that's what she was saying. I think that's I think that's what she was saying. Um, but but Rich Galen you know, you know, A, number one, she brilliantly, some people are critical of her positions, but she brilliantly captures attention by using social media. N number two, though, if you look at the polling, and people would say, well, the, the knock on Sarah Palin from a Republican standpoint would be fascinating character, great politician, great support with the Republican base, loses in the moderate suburbs among people who think either she's not qualified or she's too conservative. Do you see this as a deliberate moderation? No, I, it, well, it might be. I don't know. Anybody who tries to get into Sarah Palin's head, I think it's probably headed for the, the great Alaskan outback or whatever they call it up there. <laughs> but the, but I, think, I think what it is, is it's a typical Sarah Palin in 140 characters, just whatever came into her head came out of her thumbs, and I don't think it means anything. You don't, you don't think she, you, uh, that's an interesting point. Do you see her as someone who just says, oh, I like that, and retweets it, which doesn't take any characters, by the way. You just fire away and retweet it. Sure, or do you see, you do you see it, whether agree or disagree, I know you disagree right. with most of Sarah Palin's positions, but as somebody who drives message, you... Well, just as pure po politics aside, I, I admire her for what she's doing politically. She is the most formidable political person probably on the Republican side, easy. Look at what she's done, and I hear people sort of make the argument about how she's not electable in the general, but you know what? We gotta get through a caucus and a primaries first, and there's a lot of people who made it through the caucus and primaries who people say weren't electable in general, being the guy I used to work for. But right now, if you look at what she's able to do in the last sort of round of primaries and caucuses in the Republican, on the Republican side of things, she clearly speaks to the base in a way that, that Palenti or none of those other guys, I mean, they can't get out of her shadow. If she runs, I think she'd be awfully hard to beat in a Republican primary and a Republican caucus, because right. those moderate independent voters, they're not caucus, Republican right. caucus goers. Uh, it is a mistake for us to assume that when you retweet something, that means that you're in full agreement. Uh, it very, I mean, look, I, I do it all the time. People say, oh my God, that's your position? No, it could be an interesting argument. Uh, and mm -hmm. so if she actually comments on this, likely on Fox News, never to any of us, uh, it probably will be in, with that kind of response. But clearly, as a part of her strategy, this mm -hmm. keeps, her, keeps her ahead of the news cycle. Mm -hmm. Because every move that she makes, okay, if she decides to pop off to the bathroom somewhere, we're going to sit here and report it. And so <laughs> from her standpoint, it serves her well. Retweet something, it blows she's, up. She's crazy. And she's crazy like a fox, by the way.